congratulations on your new baby girl. Thank you. Esty. <laughs> and how, how is she? Oh! That's oh Esty. <laughs> Esty? Esty. Esty Maxine Stevens. So sweet. So my great grandmother was named Esther, uh -huh. and my grandmother's name was, middle name was Maxine. So we incorporated two of my, you know, ancestors into her name. And so That's beautiful. We're very excited to welcome her to the family. Yes. Yes. <laughs> She's so precious. <laughs> and you have two older kids. I have two older kids, Luna and Miles. Luna. They're six and four. Oh, wow. And they're being so good with I was her. wondering. You know, we were worried because they seemed like a little jealous when Chrissy was pregnant. And I was worried that they wouldn't be excited to welcome her home. Yeah. But they've exceeded our expectations of how loving and excited they are. <laughs> they're just, like, truly thrilled to be older siblings now. Good big brothers yes. and sisters. Yes. I know you're proud. Yes. Oh my God. So do people already say that your baby looks like you? Everybody says every light-skinned baby looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> Do they really? <laughs> like, if you go online, there's like a thousand babies that I've had people tweet me <laughs> or Instagram me. And like, this baby looks just like John Legend. I'm beginning to think I just have a baby face and... <laughs> <laughs> if, if they're like around my complexion, they're like they look like John Legend. Oh, yeah. oh, that's, that's that's a good thing. You'll stay it's forever fine. young, it's right? Fine. <laughs> wow, you have a son. How old is he? He's one and a half. One and a half. Congratulations. He, thank you so much. And he's the best. Oh my God, I love him so much. You know, I'm su I'm assuming there are many parents in the crowd. Yay, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. We got parents. Yes. There. It's just, it does something to you. Yes. I've been with my partner for 15 years and I always thought, oh yeah, I know what love is. Mm -hmm. And then my child stepped into the picture. I was like, oh no, I love you very much, but you're here <laughs> and my child is here. Like just the most insane love I've ever felt in my entire life. I haven't been home for four days. I'm on a press tour right now. And like, it hurts my heart when I think, like it's a physical pain you feel being away from your child. I love him so much. He's just the best. I see it all over you. Yeah, I love that. Does he wear fancy clothes like his dad? He, his, okay, you have a child. Yes, I do. 13, did you say? He's 13 now. Okay, I see that he's very creative. I heard the story, wonderful. Mm -hmm. But, <laughs> what, I, what, you might judge me for what I'm about to say, because maybe you did this. <laughs> maybe you were the crazy that did this. Did you put your one-year-old in designer clothes at one? Like, no. No, right? No, no. You're lying. No, honey, hold, Don't lie hold to the lie. Hold Don't the... lie to me. I Ted, told you I was a Ted, fan. You can't lie to listen. a fan. Yeah. He's he 13 years old. I can't remember that far back. <laughs> <laughs> OK. OK. No. OK, here's, here's my <laughs> honest answer. When people ask whether I put him in nice clothes, I styled out clothes, because it's what I do for a living. Yes. I style for a living. However, he's vomiting. He's having blowouts. I, I change his diaper a thousand times a day. Do you think I'm putting him in Gucci? No, it's not happening. It ain't happening. I am a practical parent. My child is in onesies, and I usually put him in a really tight onesie so he looks really fat and he can't move. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> like, <laughs> I love a fat baby. And so, yeah, he's in a onesie that costs maybe $6. That's what he lives in. Because I'm a smart parent. <laughs> <laughs> From you. Yeah. How old are your kids? My kids are 11, 10, and 9. <laughs> or 5. <laughs> yeah, 11, 10, and 5. 11, 10, and 5. I haven't slept in 11 years. <laughs> I love you. Okay. And your son is named Drake? My youngest, my baby is named Drake. Is he named after Drake? Yes, he's named after Drake. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, I. I don't think there's a better Jewish rapper. <laughs> you might be right. So I feel like I, I feel like that's the it, it, it's good. And he does um, he he he's funny. He's he's precocious. And so he uh, like will tell people they'll be like, what's your name? He'll be like Drake. And they'll always be like, did you say Drake like the rapper? And then he'll go, yeah, but you can call me Drizzy. <laughs> And how old is he? He's five. He's five saying that. Yeah. Oh, he sounds like he got a lot of personality. Oh, he's got a lot of personality. Do your kids know you're famous? Thank you so much for calling me famous. <laughs> um, seriously, <laughs> I, uh, I don't think anyone in my family would call me famous. <laughs> I don't think anyone like in my Hollywood, like my manager would say I'm not famous. 
<laughs> my agents, they'd be like, I don't know who you think you are. Uh, uh, so thank you for calling me famous. Um, I think my kids know that, like, you know, they, they, they know something's going on. You know, like when a stranger asks for a picture with uh -huh. their dad, they're like, what's going on here, you know? like so your I, dad to them. Yeah, because I'm just their dad, you know? But like my daughter especially is so kind. She's such a, a, a sweet girl. She like um, really takes care of people if they want my attention. So like one, we were at an urgy care with her. She had a fever and we brought her in and the person behind the desk checked her in and then was like, I, by the way, I'm a, a fan. Can I take a picture? And I was alone with her and I had my baby and he was crying and it was like, you know, one of those days where you're just like, can't do anything. And I was just like, you know what? I, I would love to, but I'm with my, my right. kids. I'm yes. so sorry. And we went and got the uh, exam. And then after the exam, my daughter, my daughter gave me such a talking to and then made us go back around to oh. the front, and they were like, oh, he's actually on lunch. She made us, she asked where he was on lunch. We had to walk down to the restaurant that he was at Aww. so I could take a picture with him. <laughs> and, and I was like, really touched, <laughs> really touched. I need to talk to you about the big red boots. You got a whole tub pair recently, huh? How did that happen? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got a call from my youngest daughter, who's a filmmaker and photographer, oh. Ruby Esposito. And she says, Papa. I said, what do you want? <laughs> Papa, <laughs> would you be my model in a photo shoot? And I thought, OK, I'm home for 24 hours. Um, and I said, sure, I'll do it for you. Oh. So she's been working on a film in Santa Fe, and I'm in Albuquerque. She comes down, and she carries in this big, huge box. And I say, what's that? She said, oh, you're not going to believe it. <laughs> they looked me up. They, they knew I liked white sneakers. And I asked them, would they send me the red boots? I said, what are the red boots? You, she said, you're not hip to the red boots. <laughs> so, so she opens this box, and they're these huge red boots that are like Astro Boy's boots. Yeah. And I said, well, what are we going to do with those? She said, you're going to put them on. They're your size. And I said, wow. <laughs> I'll do it, and as long as you'll photograph me. She said, that's the whole point, Papa. <laughs> and so that is this red boot fun time that I had with her um, until... Uh-oh, until... Until it came that time to try to get them off. You couldn't get them off? She looked at me and said, oh, Papa, that's not unusual. Wait. <laughs> it's not unusual. People look, have you had, look so concerned. People have... I, you see my face? You see his face? I'm like, wait a minute now. I had to fly the next morning, <laughs> and, she's, and she said, um, it, people have been known to have to cut them off. I said, I'm not cutting these boots yeah, off. Yeah, and they expensive. I said, what's the price tag? She said, they're over a grand. I said, I'm not cutting these boots off. You're not <laughs> cutting them off. Now, I got to say, she nailed that picture. She you is. Y'all nailed that together. That is the best photo I've ever seen with them on. So, I'm Shamar Moore, uh -huh. uh, 52 and a half years old. My, my mother is in heaven right now. Uh, it'll be three-year anniversary on February 8th. Um, and on February 8th, I'm going to make one of her dreams come true. Because in real life, Shamar Moore mm -hmm. is about to be a daddy. Oh! Congratulations! <laughs> That's news! That is news, and your mama going to be so proud, smiling at you from heaven. I'm so excited. I'm, so, I'm sorry she can't be here. Um, I, I was worried for a while that maybe that ship had sailed kind of thing and, and you know, God had my back yes. and uh, things lined up and uh, it's going to be the best part of my... My life is pretty grand, oh. but I know whenever God does call my name, once I get this experience, I'll be able to go to heaven whole. Mm. You know? mm. Okay, you're a father? Tell us about your son. I am a father. I love this whole last segment you had because it reminded me of me and my boy. I grew up with my boy. I had my first son when I, uh, I had just turned 20 years old. So I, my oldest son will be 20 in April. I have a new son who is uh, nine months. So nine. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, and it's just... Completely different. I love it. You know, it was such, I love growing up with my son, but it was pressured. I was always broke, and now it's so different. It feels like a movie. I call it Kid Number Two. This time. So they're money. drastically different? It's so different. How so? Because I can afford to relax. <laughs> so are you about to take me out? You can afford my to relax. My bank account's not negative, J Hood. <laughs> You never 
never know who, what kind of personality you're gonna get up here. You are wearing me out. Okay, so say it again. <laughs> Cause that just took me all the way out. Uh -huh. 19 years old, just turned 20, working at a bank, like call center, not even a real bank. They were like, you can answer phones. You can't get to the money. <laughs> <laughs> and the just struggle. I started comedy when my son was two years old. And he was diagnosed with autism. And then now I've um, been lucky, doing great in my career, and was able to have my new son and take care of him and take safety classes. You know you, you're supposed to take safety classes? No. You're supposed to take them for CPR. You're not just supposed to wing it. OK. <laughs> well, I don't plan on having a second round, okay. so. Me neither. But I'm glad you gave me them tips. <laughs> If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.